Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I have a very intriguing video today because I'm only using one product to style my hair. And I'm gonna be using some products from Bath Sheba Body Soap. They make natural products for your toiletry items such as soap bars, they have lip balms, deodorant, even toothpaste. All products that I'm gonna be using today are gonna be on their website on bathshebabody.com. So today I'm gonna be be using their care package I'm gonna be using their soap bar to cleanse my hair also their hair cream to style my hair this bundle also comes with toothpaste it comes with an extra soap bar deodorant and also two lip balms so if you ever have any questions or you just want to interact with other customers and the company they have a blog section on their website which is awesome because this shows that they actually care about their customers opinions so of course I'm starting on old hair because I want to cleanse it. So they sent me two cleansing bars. You can use this on your body or your hair and they definitely will last long. One of the soap bars actually has a string on it so you can easily just hang up your soap bar in your bathroom. So I am going to be using the lemongrass one just because I love the way it smells. It smells amazing. And at first I am gonna try to use the whole bar on one section and it kinda doesn't work that well. <laughs> it's just too big. So I did cut a little piece off the corner. So I'm just gonna use that little piece to cleanse my hair and scalp. And immediately my hair started to suds up. So I'm just going to massage that throughout my scalp and my hair and make sure I'm deeply cleansing my hair. I am going to try to use this to detangle and right now outside the shower it's actually not great at detangling. I actually do just recommend to use this bar in the shower. It works so much better. So one thing I really do like about Bathsheba is they use essential oils in their products such as lavender, lemongrass, lime, mandarin. They also use oatmeal, green tea, peppermint, rosemary, spearmint and rose they do not use fragrances to scent their products so you know it's all natural ingredients and in all their soaps they create them with goat milk coconut butter shea butter castor oil and palm oil so you know right there that it's super moisturizing and hydrating to the skin in here <laughs> So after my hair has been fully cleansed and deep conditioned, it's ready to be styled by only one product. And that product is their hair and body cream. It is all vegan and contains coconut butter. And coconut butter is a natural antibacterial agent. It's also a natural moisturizer. It repairs damaged skin. It keeps your hair strong, nourished, and it can protect your scalp from premature aging like baldness and excessive hair loss. So the next ingredient is shea butter. I love shea butter, you guys know. It is a natural moisturizer. It's great at clearing up eczema, rosacea, acne, blemishes, and it can also encourage circulation, which is great at promoting healthy hair growth. The last ingredient in this cream is sweet almond oil. I love sweet almond oil. It's a very lightweight oil. It removes blemishes, prevents acne. It's high in vitamin E and other vitamins and minerals, and it can also reduce inflammation. Immediately as I put this on my strands, you can see the shine. My hair feels incredibly soft and moisturized. So right now I'm just prepping my hair for the style. So I'm just going to be moisturizing it with the hair and body cream first, and then I'm going to proceed to styling. So with products that do not contain a hydrator in it, such as this cream, I do recommend to drench your hair first with water before applying the cream on top.
all my twists are elongated, which is great. Shea butter is great at doing that. My hair feels a lot softer, it's shinier, and it's ready to be styled. So I did part off a front section. I'm just gonna put that out the way so we can work on the back. And I took all those twists out. So now I'm just going to form my hair into a puff. So I'm just gonna take more of that luxurious cream and smooth that throughout my hair. And then I'm going to start to brush my hair upward. going to take my hair tie if you guys want a separate video of how I create this I will do it just let me know so I just take that hair tie I tie it in the front and then I start to move the back upwards after I do that I tighten the front by pulling those two ends and then I just repeat those steps over and over. I pull up the back again and then tighten it in the front. And you want to just play with it and adjust it. And once you feel like you have it the way you want and the position you want, just tighten it completely. And you can just tie the ends in the back. Once you tie the ends, they're probably going to still be long. You can just tuck them into the side. Now I'm just bringing out the pick to fluff my hair further and for any short ends or pieces, I'm just going to pin them down with a bobby pin. Now for the section I kept out, I'm just going to two strand twist two sections loosely. Then I will twist those sections together loosely as well and pin the ends down in the back. And there you have it. That's it guys, my hair feels amazing. So you can even take this style a step further. You could have put two strand twist on your ends instead of having it out in a puff, or you could have added braids and did a bun. You can literally do this style anyway. I love puffs because you can do so many things with it. But in this style, I really wanted to showcase my 4C texture, my true kinky coily hair. Let's represent guys for all the kinky textured girls. I really do love how this came out. So FYI, this is probably just a one day style for you just because you do not want to keep your hair out in a state for very long because you will get those single strand knots. So I do recommend at the end of the night, just twist up those ends and tuck them away. And then you have a new hairstyle. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and give this video a thumbs up so I know you like it and I'll see you in the next one.